full of opportunities. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is Mune, also known as Ui Sasaki, uh, on Neverwinter on the PlayStation 4. Um, as you may know, I am one of the guild leaders for the DM Screwed Me. Uh, today, I'm going to go through a quick tutorial uh, for members of my guild uh, that many of the members have kind of, you know, ignored through messaging and so forth, mainly because uh, the other guild leader... Uh, Vanessa, in my opinion, uh, has a little bit of trouble with the writing skills, but not necessarily to an extent. But the message will get across nevertheless, uh, and this is a precaution for us to find out who is actually active in our guild. Um, so many of you already know how to do this. I hope this is pretty simple, but I'm going to go ahead and go through this quick tutorial in case you were not paying attention or you, you kind of haven't explored this. So first things first. Uh, we sent out an email a little while ago telling people to make a comment in your listing in the guild. So we're going to go ahead and open up our menu. We're going to go over to the guild section and go down to my guild. All right. So here you will see the opening screen for the guild and you'll hit R1 to go to a listing. All right, so the default listing is, as you can see up here at the top, is it lists my name. It's kind of hard to see a little bit. Um, my online ID, which is my Mune, and my guild rank, and what class I am and what level, as well as my location. Well, what we wanted you to do is actually put something in your comments. So here is what we put in the comments. We have that OP tank active and then the date okay the date setup will be the month day and year if possible if for whatever reason your country uses a different system go ahead and use that that's perfectly fine just so we're well aware of how it's set up okay um it always kind of helps and then when one of us guild officers whether it be me or Vanessa, or if Card Shark ever comes back, um, we will make a note in it. And here's something that you will see in the officer comments by hitting triangle, okay? Is that we have listed people who are active in the guild, and then those that are not. And we have some people listed as new. Um, what we have been doing is going through these listings, trying to figure out who is active and who is not we come across people's names and we kind of go and inspect them and if it comes up as an invalid entity name it means that somebody has been off for more than 30 days okay doesn't mean we're going to kick them necessarily right away but it means that we are debating it okay if for whatever reason you get kicked from the dm screwed me and you are an active player or maybe you just took a little leave of absence, whatever. Just shoot one of the members a message and get reinvited. Simple as that. It's super easy. All right. Um, I'll just use somebody who actually is considered active, and they should come up, no problem, whether they're online or offline. The person I just looked at was somebody who's offline, and somebody made a comment uh, a little over. Well, about a month ago. Not quite over a month ago, but about a month ago. But we have some that have been listing as we don't know if they're still playing back from August. That's why we're doing the cleaning house. We have 98 current members out of 150. Even though... Yeah, that, sorry. 98 out of 150 online IDs. 169 characters out of 500. So that's why we're clearing out trying to figure out who's on and what we need to potentially get for the guild for members. Uh, mainly because we are severely lacking in support classes, especially devoted clerics. I cannot stress this enough. Devoted clerics are in such a demand 
that if you were contemplating ever making one, you might as well. It is. It will help out so much. A lot of people are trying to run epic dungeons and they need them. Especially people who are running stuff like Castle Never or trying to do anything related to uh, Sforborg or Master Sforborg. Alright. In addition, if you hit Triangle again, just takes you back to that. So there's three listings. Pretty simple. Location. Member comments. And all you have to do to make a comment is go to, let's see if I can find myself. I can go here and change guild member comment. This is what you need to change to change that thing. So right now mine says that. I'm going to change it, so I'm going to enter value. And today's date is the 21st. It's quite late. I shouldn't be up this late, but I need to make this video so people are aware. And then you hit X to confirm. I am an Oathbound Paladin tank, and I am active. You know, some of these will look a little weird, but when we go over your name, as you can kind of see, it says DC slash or DC buff slash heal active 228.17. I know this person's active because they're on right now. They're doing a great job. Thank you for working so hard with us. All right. And thank you for being a DC because we really need you guys. All right. So that basically sums this up after you've done that. Uh, you know, you don't have to do anything. Uh, anybody can look at them and then we will mark in there that you're active like we have done for uh, Ophelia at Ludos underscore 420. Now, thank you so much for your, your contributed support. I see a few people have been marked as such. Okay, we're gonna go through this over the next few days. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, just shoot either me or Vanessa a message. Again, I'm Ui Sasaki, and I am a one of the guild leaders for the DM Screwed Me. Um, if you have any very vital questions, for the guild and you want to talk to the highest up on the totem pole that would be vanessa vanessa is the leader of this guild by and far i am more of a secondary member but i went ahead and threw up together this video for existing members and one thing i will make a quick note on please keep doing your influence runs we definitely still need those done if you are online please do them we don't ask much of you, just do your influence runs once a week. And I know that we have a roster of 98 online IDs right now. And that's why we're going through these because right now we were only seeing roughly about 10 people doing influence runs for our guild. And that is not a contribution for teamwork for building up a guild. Okay. And I understand a lot of you are really busy. You have lives outside of the game. You have other things that you need to take care of. I understand that. And if for whatever reason you were unable to do an influence run, we understand people take breaks. They play other games. They go off on vacations. Just shoot us a message. We will completely understand. Okay? Well, all we ask is one influence run, which typically will only take you about 15, 20 minutes. And... We only want one influence run per week, okay? If you can do more than that, we, it would be greatly appreciated because we are so close. I cannot stress this enough. We are so close. We are within 85,000 of our goal for getting up to guild rank 10, all right? And then we can upgrade it. It's very important that we do this, and then we can start making more structures. And right now, uh, we have plenty of structures. If you are watching this video and you are curious about it, or you want to say something about the guild, like what kind of structure you want, go ahead and leave a comment in below because we're definitely going to take a look at that because we are kind of curious. Right now, we've been contemplating on getting the, uh, I think it was the barracks for the boons. Uh, let's see, yeah, barracks for like attack power or just power. 
and eventually experience but i kind of am kind of curious right now we're not really focused too much on pvp but at the same time we understand that the barracks does require some contribution of glory as well as conquer shards of power so any suggestions or things that you want done with the uh new structures please let us know in the comments um otherwise yeah thank you for watching and understanding uh that we are working very hard to try to make this the best guild as possible but again this guild cannot be completely built up from the bottom up without some contribution to each and every member of the guild all right so thank you uh hopefully this was very informative uh it's taken us quite some time to get this high and that double influence weekend really helped us out thank you all that ran influence runs on multiple characters and donated to our guild coffer all right thank you so much and have a great day